So we're gonna put a front rack on this thing today. So one thing that I really liked about my old CT200U was one of the earlier videos I made on this channel is it had a nice front rack. Now, of course, my favorite part about the front rack is if that something fell off, you could see it when it fell off. I've lost things on this rear rack and also the CT200U's rear rack. I have a policy for anything mounted on the back on a mini bike has to be strapped down in a way that it can't just slide out. I can't just bungee strap a bag. It has to be either gator clipped down or secured with something that can't just slip out because otherwise it will slip out. It's a bouncy bike, even with the rear shocks. It's just like that, it's a really small bike. So I also want more storage in general. This is an old oven rack that we've had in storage here at my parents' place forever. I mean, well, this thing's probably over 10 years old easily. So I'm just gonna cut this and use that because it's not ever gonna get used for anything else other than being in storage and why waste it when it could be put to use. It's still in decent enough condition and I'm never gonna be putting a whole lot of weight up in the front. This is just for, you know, stuff. And lately I've been using the bike to actually get around anyway, so why not? So I'm actually going to use the fender mounts here to mount this. I'm gonna put this in between them. So I think if I cut, so I gotta make sure I do this right. If I cut right after this middle spoke here, it'll fit about right. Cause then I basically can use these middle parts and then it will shove up against that. I mounted this hyper tough headlight a while ago just because it was really simple and oh, of course that's happened before. It's really simple like I was mentioning and it's also a cheap way to just get a decent amount of light up there. Uh, there she goes. Ah, I didn't strip it completely, that's fine. Mini bikes are one of those things where if you want to play with modifying a bike this is the best way there's no way anybody can argue to me that there is a better way to learn how to modify a bike because you could mess this whole thing up and you're only out you're only out the actual worth of the bike so even with all the upgrades you can salvage these things like crazy it's too long this bit right it works, it's fine. I'm a professional, everyone, I know what I'm doing. I've had this fender, um, this is a little rubber piece for, I think, a doorstep I got at Home Depot. I just pretty much cut it up, used it to protect under the carriage. I took that one off because it was getting messed up, but I kept the one on the fender, helps keep a little bit of extra mud, since I like to take this off-road plenty too, of course. I'm gonna put these back in here, just to kind of get this thing lined up well enough has to see what we're looking at in terms of what we're going to want to where we're going to want to cut on this rack. Perfect. I mean, it ain't pretty and I probably want to paint this after, but I want to make sure this is working before I actually bother to paint it. too short to handle the rack sandwich in there. And I don't have anything that'll fit in those holes and I don't really want to widen them either because I'm going to have to widen everything so I'm just going to go get some longer versions of these. Put the sandwich set over it. That's probably smarter. Put that in the front like I was doing washer over 
Yeah. I mean, it's not thick or anything that they wouldn't want to put anything super heavy on this, but dang. Ain't that a cheap way of just getting a little basic rack on the front there? It's not completely straight though. It's a little off to the side, tilt-wise. It also might be the light putting me off because the light actually looks over. So actually it's not horribly, um, it's not horribly off. If we look at it from the front, it's the light that's more or less off. But it's been that way. Thing is the light will have to be pointing you know, relatively forward 